Buggies, the awesomest gas station that everyone has been seeing in 2021. It is amazing that they have everything. Before we get started for this new history video, I just want to say thank you for supporting this channel so much. I really appreciate it. Also, this history video is 18 minutes long, so please pay attention. So, Bucky's is a chain of convenience stores and gas stations with locations in Texas, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Additional locations are completely, completely um, under development in Kentucky, Mississippi, t Tennessee, and South Carolina. Plan for an actual location in North Carolina were show up in early 2021. So in this history video, you can see that Buggies is a mascot than Chuck E. Cheese. I will show you in a part. So the company was owned by Arch Bever, Alpen III, and Don Waskin, and has its headquarters in Lake Jackson, Texas. Co-founders Don Risk and, and Arch Beaver happen open their first store as partners, which is still open as 2021 in Clo, Texas in 1982. Alpen formed the name of Bucky's by combining his childhood nickname as the name of his Warbender. Reaver Javer, Buck, as well as a as a prequel of Alapana Two Paces and the main mascot. Bucky the Beaver, a Palkin was born in South Te Texas with his father, ordinary form, and grandparents raising in Horizonburg, Louisiana. Alright, let's move on, shall we? Bucky suspended and opened in his first travel center in Lowing, Texas in, in, in 2001. Bucky's are large storages. Stores, I'm sorry, <laughs> strong with me. With fill pumps that rate to 80 to 120. Filling positions for gas and diesel. Some stores include ethanol free and DEF, and a large such as a jerky, and more. Park, parkies, fresh sandwiches, tacos, dipping dots, fudge, and other items. In in 2012, Buggies opened at its largest travel center in New Braunfels, Texas, and Interstate 35. The new Braunfels location is the largest convenience store in the world at 68,000, like a thousand square feet. The store features 120 filling positions, 1,000 parking lots, 64 ice freezers, 83 toilets, and, and 31 cash registers. Four icy machines, my favorite, and 80 fountain dispenders. It also refers tumbling and water gear for joining the nearby Gillard Pit River. The new Brentfield, Texas store was named the 2012 Best Restroom in America by Santa's after significant expansion, the greater Houston area in central Texas. The first Buckies in the Texas. Fourth Worth Metroplex and opened in Charles, Texas in June 22, 2015. The travel center was located three miles in the west, Tango Outlets, and the Interstate 20. In September 2015, it was announced as the least part of Bucky's Confederate uh, Impressions. I don't know how to say it. Sorry. We would move to Office Space and Pureland Town Center. The payroll headquarters and Wood House Legal and Term Resources departments of the company, the space was ready to early part of 2016. Four years ago, five years ago. The second Buggies in the metro in the Metroplex opened in May 23, 2016. The store was located in the in the far the northern Fort Worth across the street in Texas Border Speedway. The third um, DFQ opened in Texas. Texas in October 29, 2018. Bucky's book background on the other North Texas location in Melissa, Texas on February 5, 2018. Two years ago, three years ago. The store was located off New Davis, 
Road on the on United States Highway 75. The store was opening in April 29, 2019. 2019, like two years ago, one year ago. In June 2018, Bucky's will approach to Atlantis and, and Colorado Carna, Texas. With with in the rest of the urge of in the state 30 and live one avenue for future stores say the company has the opinion to buy the the property but has of yet it was not exercised that op- opinion in late 2018 Bucky's announced a deal with two flight but special in that at Dachner I don't know where I say it lights and bathrooms to alert customers to which stalls are Occupied or not, this is similar to the uh, actor lights used as parking facilities, and, and that tell drivers which um, parking spaces are available or which not. The caddy and table uh, buggy stores would be the first to get the special bathroom in Nagander lights. Wow, that's a lot of detail. I guess I never even seen that coming. <laughs> Anyway, on March 8, 2016, Bucky's announced that a possible first location outside the state of Texas would be located in Banja Raid, Lu- Louisiana. The location was expected to open in early 2017. However, on October 4, 2016, Bucky's announced that the plans for the Banja Road location has been terminated. On April 12, 2017, Bucky's announced that it would be the first convenience store, gas station in outside Texas at da- in Daytona Beach. Four are located on the north side of LPGA Boulevard, across from T- Tanger Outlet, just east for Interstate 95. And we immediately was a stone and grill in Tavern Foley Vin- Vince Cor- Corniers, 22. Construction began in summer 2018, however, delays in the pr- project pushed the construction day to someone in 2021 side the announcement of the Daytona Beach location of Buggies also announced a new location to to be built near St. Augustine, Florida. That's where we went like one day. The St. Augustine location opened opened first in February 23, 2021. And the Daytona location opened in March 22, 2021. In January 2018, Buggies broke ground on what it becomes our first location outside of Texas in Baldwin Country, Alabama. Sweet. And in June 2019, Buggies broke uh, ground on a second Alabama location to be located along Internet 20s in Leeds, not far from Barber, Moore Sports Park. Buggies grown ground on its first door in Georgia in Wa- Warner Robbins near the urgent store in Interstate 75 and Russell Parkway on November 2019 Bucky's Winter Robbins on his first Georgia store in Central Location. Between Atlanta and Florida and its first population growth as well as the appearance of Robbins Air Force store uh, base. The Warner Robbins located open in November 18, 2020. More like seven months ago or six, I don't know. Exactly one year to the day of back groundbreaking and brought 200 yeah, jobs to the area. 30. Buggies opened the store at the World Golf in the Northeast Florida in February 2021, bringing about 250 jobs to the area. Buggies plans to open its second Georgia store in Calhoun, 310 exit of Interstate 75, SR5 uh, fr- free. Union Grove Road, approximately halfway between Atlanta and Kalamuna, Tennessee. In August 2021, expecting to fill 175 jobs. August 2021? Guess I'm going to go back to school and be in second grade. I don't know. It's been really long and tough. In July 2020, Bucky's announced plans to build his first store in Kentucky. As you can see, you can see a Bucky's Bakery. I feel like the, the logo looks like it's smelling coffee. Anyway, 
The store will be located in Richmond and Interstate 75 with a planned opening to the mid-2021. The new store date will be the furthest north to change to date. In February 2021, Bucky's and Payne to plan an expedition to North Carolina and Orange County. Locals in the community of Eflin were to convince store chain to, to plan to build city are environmental concerns as it increased traffic, concession, and presidential pollination of a nearby product watershed as their reason for Oppo Singh Bucky's. With its first Kentucky store has been broken ground for construction. In April 2021, Bucky's purchased a uh, Interstate 65 in Spruce Grove, Kentucky. Interesting. Well, you can see the sign says, "Yes, it's big. You left us no choice. You'll, you'll be coming to Bucky's in two miles." <laughs> it's very interesting seeing that. About 10 miles north of Bowling Green and just south of Mammoth Cave National Park. 35. In June 2021, that's where we start right now, Bucky's announced plans to break ground for, on June 15 for a new travel center located at 2045 Genesis Road, off to Interstate 40 in Crossville, Tennessee. This will mark the first of Bucky's location in the state of Tennessee. Bucky's Crossville will, will occupy more than um, 53 um, 40,000 square feet and offer 120 filling stations just outside its store with snack, meal, and drink opinions. For travelers, the new business plans to bring at least 75 new jobs to the location. I guess the history view is going well. You guys watching this video? Yeah, why don't you see this picture for yourself? All right. Now we we are trying to get this question done. We are going to do the lawsuits. The lawsuits. More like Gilbert Gottfried's lawsuits. Like Chris Brad just sent. You should, you should look it on Twitter. Just look it up on Twitter. He had just sent you a link on, on his video. In recent years during the company's r rapidly growing success, Bucky's has filled numerous lawsuits. I guess they are convinced store change in most of Texas for trademark and dress in Kernifigant. Hmm. Wow. In 2014, Bucky's filled a lawsuit against Texas based convinced store chain Frio, Frio Beaver. Frio Beaver, a company with a logo and the penalty in a beaver and yellow circle with a black outline, was accused of copying an Iron Bucky's Beaver head logo, which the company was widely known for as Texas. Yeah, wow. That just, just, let's talk to Chuck E. Cheese. This is why the history video is showing you about the, about the mascot and the gas station. Listen carefully. The mascot's right here. Yep, we got mascots. There's more. I will do more history videos in, 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 you know, August, September, October, November, December. There will be more. Why don't you look at Nathan's history board? In 2016, Bucky uh, sued Coke Candy and BBQ, another Texas convenience store, for copyright infringement and, tra and trade testing. Coke Candy uses a logo of a grinning alligator in the middle of a yellow circle, which Bucky's claims an intent to buy the claim to resemble the Bucky's logo. Coke Candy was also calling the new stores Bucky's. In 2017, Bucky's again filled a lawsuit for breaking the agreement. This time against a nearby based convenience store chain known as Bucky's. The two companions had agreed to remain in their represented states and expand only to states where the other did not appreciate. Were, the, were also a non logo related lawsuit filled in 2014 against Chicks. A convenience store located in Bryan, Texas. A trade by illegally copied Bucky's convenience store in store signs and layout. The case was sold out, out of court. Bucky's was also a Texas employee resignation agreement case in April in 2017. A year after a trial court ordered a former 
employee, sorry, to pay Bucky's close to $1 million in damages and out of Corny's fees or breaching a, a renection argument in Texas court. Um, wait, okay, sorry. Of a previous revenue to the destination, um, that ordered that Bucky's take nothing on the claims against the former employee. The core reasoning on about the contract violated Texas employment that will dock time. It could only be violated if requirements of an actual non-complete ar- agreement. But this is not what they meant. Texas acquire a non-complete. The contract was not enforceable. It wasn't. I mean, who knows the difference of this? It's it's why we know. Anyway, we just made it to the end of this history video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more history videos, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them. I'll hardly comment. It'll be really nice if you send me some comments of what history videos you want me to do. In my previous video, we have an announcement the pang the pangu iceberg that I did, like, like a week ago. Please watch it, um, the pangu iceberg first, and then you'll watch this history video of Bucky's mascot, gas station, and more. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, comment down below, click that like button, subscribe. The me, E Boy Way, go subscribe to my gaming channel. And finally, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.